I'm gonna start off the video by saying that this, okay, this thing right here is what made Roblox its first millions. Because here's the thing, I guarantee this, right? Imagine this, and maybe you went through this as well. Why do people start playing Roblox, okay? People start playing Roblox because there's just a ton of cool, amazing, free games. Like, imagine you're a kid in school and all of your friends are playing Roblox, okay? Do you know why they're playing Roblox? Because Roblox is such a good sandbox, okay? Literally, the characters are just blocky avatars blocky hand, blocky body, blocky legs, and somewhat of a round head. That's it. And Roblox recognized and respected this fact, okay? Because here's the thing, they actually did try adding other avatars, like mesh avatars, right? Like, the most recent mesh avatar looks fairly realistic, and I'm pretty sure I actually can remember people complaining about this one as well. But even though, you know, it is fairly different from the blocky avatar, this is still an avatar that I could very easily see in, like, some sandbox type of game, right? I, I heard you said you liked um, realism in your, in your video games. I, I, I heard you uh, really like to have realistic... Uh, uh, character seemingly out of nowhere roblox made this okay and you probably saw the news you know you probably saw people you know talk about this online this pissed a lot of people off and i believe that there were two main reasons for this right so this is me talking as someone who has actually you know seen th these characters come out live and so you know obviously you might have different opinions blah 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 but the first main thing was just that like these looked weird and they had no real reason in being in roblox right it's like come why add ass. this you know like this just looks weird and it doesn't have any place in roblox right but the second issue that people would bring up is why they even did this in the first place like you could just say okay yeah it's just you know some niche little character but the thing is it's not some niche little character when roblox is clearly implementing a lot more realism into their game it's like recently i'm sure you've heard of like face tracking and everything becoming like a thing in roblox right i'm not sure if it works on these characters specifically so comment you know i could be wrong but i know for a fact they work on like you know certain faces you know blocky avatars where like you know you, you like show your face and they start talking it's like that's fun i guess but what what is is that being added for and why are official roblox promotional images now featuring these avatars why roblox isn't known for this okay look, look, look at this his eye look at this you can see his tongue okay so yeah so this, this confirms my suspicion that like you, you can like you know like face track this guy because he has a tongue but you can't see the tongue so clearly the mouth has to open and then you can like see his eyeballs as well which I will say though that the female rig is such a baddie, bro. They got the look. They got, okay, look. They got the proportions and everything. They got that like hourglass figure. I do enjoy that they didn't make her like insanely fat, as you know, a lot of modern women are. Right. This is this is a nice change of pace. <laughs> Now, just before I cover what's actually inside of the avatar and, you know, what makes it stand out from, you know, the basic rig, because I can do that, right? I'm a very smart person, so I've hacked into Roblox and I've gained secret intel on how things are made. I just want to point out that I don't think realism is bad in any, in any way, right? Realism is a cool feature, right? But again, the only way that realism works is when there is already a lack of it. Like, I'm sure you've seen the occasional video pop up, and I've had these a lot, where it's like, oh, this Roblox game is so realistic, uh, it's, a, it's a must visit, and then you play the game, and it has, like, cool lights sometimes. Like, you know, the, the lighting is kind of somewhat well done. And, you know, we, we like, some little Timmy in the comment section is like, oh, wow, this, this, is, this is like a whole AAA game, guys. Like, bro, check out Subnautica. If you haven't played Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero, bro, you have you have no idea what good graphics are. But where my issue and the issue of many other players are is that it feels like Roblox is taking away that, you know, sandbox freedom. Because like I said, realism is cool. I have nothing against realism, but realism only works when it's not the standard, okay? They're trying to make it a standard. They're trying to turn Roblox into more of this, like, AI, not even AI, it's like a metaverse type of feel, you know, where, like, you have your own realistic avatar, which, you know, has a lot of customizations, you can make it look like you. I guarantee there's going to be, like, customizations to the face. Like, I'm sure you're, you'll soon be able to, like, change the eye color or whatever. And, you know, pardon my ignorance, uh, because you might actually be able to do that. Like, I don't know, I've never actually checked in the shop for, you know, these types of avatars. But yeah, it just gives Roblox this, like, very, I don't know, icky feel, you know, it's like they're trying to turn a neutral platform with expressive games into a very expressive platform
platform, but therefore with very neutral games. And I get where they're coming from, because, you know, imagine you're like a Roblox CEO or something, and then, you, you know, people are like, oh yeah, you know, uh, shareholders need, you know, they like AI now, so you're like, okay, we'll add some AI, AI assistant, right? Which is terrible, honestly. Like, I've, I have a whole video on it, bro. You know, we're gonna add, you know, the whole metaverse feel, we're gonna start adding, you know, face tracking, you know, of voice chat, we're gonna start add adding, like, e-dating to Roblox, because I, I think that's a thing now as well. And it's definitely a smart thing to do, and I'm not saying that I hate any of those features, they're good to have. Again, the only issue, which I hope Roblox isn't doing, but it seems like it is, making this a standard, okay? And not like just a cool niche feature that, you know, some players might like using. So let's actually like take a look into this avatar and also compare it to, you know, the actual regular block avatar. If we open up both of the characters, so I'll open up real and then I'll open up block, right? Honestly, there isn't that much of a difference, right? Both, both of them have body colors, they both have humanoids. Sure, you know, this guy has a lot more like accessories on him, like brows. Oliver Eyebrow. Okay, so this is this is Oliver because that's that's important to know. Now the truth is, is that you know Roblox obviously wants to keep avatars consistent. Like they don't want to change up a lot of things, right? But the thing is, again, it's it's the fact that like oh, come on, okay, look, if we just put them side by side, which uh, by the way, if this video gets 10k likes, uh, full guide to loving a woman is coming out soon. If we look at these again, there's not a big difference yet, right? The reason I say yet is because I think that as time will go on, they will just implement more and more features to these realistic avatars, right? And I feel like that's just, again, there's a lot more customizability with these, right? Because imagine this, they have fingers, okay? What if they just add like hand tracking eventually? But something that I've also noticed is that like face controls is a thing on the, you know, the realistic character. So inside of the head, there's a thing called face controls, but then inside of the blocky avatar, there is no face control. And it's like, I know that, you know, like you're supposed to use certain like types of faces that support face control, but it's the fact that these avatars are coming pre-built with these new features, right? You like, you know, you don't need to buy some expressive face to use face controls. It just has it by default. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, th I think this is where, where many people have the problem with, you know, the realistic avatar, because it just feels like all of the, you know, the new cool features that Roblox will have will just get pushed out by default to these Arthro avatars, right? And okay, yeah, sure, they're gonna add, you know, support for, you know, these block avatars. Companies are persistent as hell. They're tough as hell, okay? Like, sure, you might say, oh, yeah, but, you know, players wouldn't give up the, the block avatar. Dude, people give up so many things. I've seen it happen so many times. I've seen so many people start complaining about something. I remember when Overwatch 2 came out and people were, were like complaining that like, oh, the bundles are too expensive. I literally, I, I quit the game. I check back like a year later, you know, I look at the, all of the bundles, they're literally like almost doubled in price and nobody cares. Everyone is like, oh, yo, new bundle. Wow, the skins are so cool. And before everyone was complaining and then people will eventually just realize, oh, yeah, nothing's working. It's like a little child. It's like a tiny baby who is like crying. And then he's like, oh, no, no one's listening to me. So then they stop whining. I don't even know what I'm where I'm getting with this. Now, right now, these avatars are a lot more of a niche feature, right? So obviously, you know, you, you likely don't see this often in a Roblox game likely you see you know you still see the default avatar a lot more than this one so if you are like you know a roblox player then you know just just expect roblox to start going into like some new metaverse field right because it definitely is going there right if you are a roblox developer though, or if you want to develop roblox i actually think this would be a great time to start because I, I know i just made fun of this entire thing but it's like roblox is a smart company they're doing this because they know that it will make them more money so yeah bro if you want to make you know games on roblox then literally right now is the best place to start in my description i've linked the only product that i sell which i guarantee it'll get you from beginner to expert in just like, I don't know, how it's like six hours long or something. And just one last thing. This guy has not been mewing at all. Look at that jawline. That is crazy.